Three Albuquerque Academy seniors are working with lawmakers to change the stigma around menstruation, and they're also taking that education to the classroom. Uh, Genevieve Glass joins us in studio here. These students are trying to accomplish a lot. Yeah, they sure are, Todd. So for context, 20% of teenagers nationwide struggle to pay for menstrual products. I met with three young women here in Albuquerque who believe the first step to protecting menstrual and reproductive rights in New Mexico is by supporting youth. Rallying to change the conversation around menstruation. For us, it's something that asks the question of respect. It asks us what we are worth. If we are able to focus on class rather than having to find a pad, and we don't think that dignity and respect can really be given to us unless our basic needs are recognized. Their mission, to make sure all elementary, middle, and high schools in New Mexico have free menstrual products available for students. Albuquerque Academy administrators listened and their students were grateful. There were thank yous, but there were also actual paragraphs. I was surprised by how um, emotive the sixth graders were about these products. But it wasn't just about the products. It was also education. Me specifically, I was always very ashamed of my period. Since then, uh, I've learned that it's not something to be ashamed of. I've learned from my community um, that it's just a natural bodily function. They created a video and showed it to students 12 and older and faculty. Period poverty is one that is largely created by stigma. From there, they drafted a bill with a similar purpose. House Bill 134, which would make sure New Mexico students have access to free menstrual products at school. They then took it to the Roundhouse, where it passed unanimously through the Education Committee. They were really motivated by the intersectionality of the bill. So this is not just putting products in women's restrooms. It's also all gender restrooms and at least one men's restroom per educational building. Three friends fighting against period poverty all before graduating high school. So what's next? Well, they're headed to the House Appropriations Committee asking for $3 million to fund this bill. Now, most of that money would go towards dispensers. So once that's paid, costs will decrease in subsequent years. I'm Genevieve Glass, KYT Action 7 News. Genevieve.